Hello everyone, this is Charter Radio. Happy May the 4th, Star Wars Day. Uh, today we are playing some Eldritched Invoked. I'm trying to test this deck to uh, help a friend learn it. I'm He's playing in an online tournament coming up. I thought about playing Cosmo because it is Star Wars Day. My like opponent is playing Ad Emancipator, which is Block Dragon with Automata Terra. Uh, that seems pretty powerful. Thought about playing Cosmo for Star Wars Day, but that deck is not very interesting. And I, one, I didn't even want to play it, and two, I didn't think anyone else would be interested in watching it. Normal summons Go 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 Glove. Is it normal summon Zoo Bancho Gaga Coat? Makes the Gallant Granite. Switches gloves to search. Researcher. Special Summons Researcher. That Emancipator deck is a lot of fun. Should uh should play that one sometime too. I'd imagine they're gonna grab the Guardian. Grab fucking your Guardian for all the hand traps to play. We are still playing with a longer time limit, so hopefully our opponent doesn't time out with our combo or not. Summons Christron Needle Fiber. Grab the O line. See if anyone's interested in seeing us abuse Christron Needle Fiber, can go back and watch the Blue Eyes replays from last week. Summons Block Dragon. And disconnects. Well, that's disappointing. I was very excited to see how well this deck uh, held up against the Ad Emancipator board. Going second. Post again. I uh, am not sure how we would have been able to play through it with that hand, but I would have liked to find out. Oh, come on then. Step up. Step up. Like we're probably going second again. Opening with the Eldritch when they're going second is really powerful. You got a channel. I do. Opponent sets one, sets two, sets three, sets a monster. Playing a monster makes me gain guru control. When it says they'll check out our channel. Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like this Elias is probably not resolving, but if they don't destroy it, they could lose impermanence. We do have Spellbook and Ollie. Nope, we get Invocation. Uh, since we have the elbow, we already have access to a light. We use spell with a knowledge. Ooh. Called by the grave. That is annoying. But we still get access to a light from Magical Meltdown. So I think that's going to be okay.
activate meltdown. Cosmic Cyclone, okay, maybe we're not getting to a life here, but we tried. Golden Lord, Pitch Invocation. Target the monster. If it is Guru Control, we don't want it to flip. Alien Telepath, huh. I, I have no idea what our opponent's playing. Grab back our negated Elysia. Okay, Set Elixir. Activate Elixir. Target the one in the grave. Get you burned to call by you. Summon Elixir. Let's go to battle. Tap. Then you can remove an A counter from the opponent's monster to destroy one star trap card. Well, all our star trap cards go off in the grave, so I'm not sure how strong that is against this. Uh, set Conquistador, set Elixir, and Pass Turn. Normal from this Telepath. Activate Alien Dog. Reveal the dog. Special to dog. Puts two counters on El the Golden Lord. Moves one, target Conquistador. Fine, turn Conquistador. Detonator Circle A. Destroy a monster with A counters. Sure, destroy its Elbert. Conquistador resolves. Won't get its effect. You know what? We can take the Elbert. And it's battle. Well, fortunately, we do have the Elbert here left. Grab the one from the deck. Put it in defense. Ooh, invocation is a very strong draw. Let's attack. Normal Elyster. Active Elyster. Grab another invocation. This one goes to you. Uh, Elixir and Elixir. We'll come back to those. And we can draw them. Off the lights, but other than to get it in the grave. But that's good enough reason. Special Almiron. Special Secure Gardener. Activate Invocation. Ooh, Purgatrio is interesting. Let's do Purgatrio. Do more damage. Hmm. Use our Elyster, you could telepath, might as well. Special summon for the here. And the punch keeps it up. Alright, we definitely have the in there. So, against this deck, if it's playing a lot of back rows, we'll bring in our lightning storms. Um, I don't know how much the deck searches, but we need Ash. So, if you don't have counter trap, Probably go down to the crow, the crow. I go down and in turn go down the spell with secret. I really don't know what is necessarily good against the alien deck. I don't know. If the alien deck really does much. So I'm mostly just afraid of their back row. Opponent is indeed going first. Normal summon alien warrior. Set the backup. 
that's minimum. And passes. Draw by this one. Nope, not quite. Yep, start with terraforming. Grab meltdown. We need both of these, but life gives us kind of an option. Activate meltdown. Don't have a cyclone. Ash. Alright, if they're ashing meltdown, it means they're not ashing a life here. Normal summon a life here. Yes, we will use the effect. Search out indication. I think with this uh, invoke deck, have to get hit at some point. If for no other reason than a Leicester with Almirage and Secure Guard mech is just a one card mechaba, which to me feels just a little too powerful. In the current like real meta, it's not necessarily oppressive, but Terraforming Meltdown or a Leicester getting you a 2500 beater plus a negate plus the Leicester back in your hand. So you don't even actually lose any target damage off of the play. So let's see, we started with Meltdown. Meltdown got Ash. So if we only count a Leicester, like forget this Meltdown's here, if we went up a card here. We have five cards in hand plus the Mecha left. So we went up a card to summon our boss monster. That's pretty, pretty oppressive. Enter battle. Attack. We have a trap in hand in case we need to negate something. We care about giving Mecha the A counters. I don't think so, but I also don't want them taking control of this. So we will negate the warrior. Set elixir. Set impermanent. And pass the chain. You're not really showing off the. Ooh, they hit the elixir. That's that's rough. I still feel like this Mechaba is probably enough. So we have Mechaba, another Elyster in hand, plus Imperm set. Don't use a Cyclone, targets Imperm, that's fine. Then draw phase. I'm trying to play around something. Normal Summon, Alien Mars. The effects of monsters with A counters are negated. So we probably made a smart play negating the warrior. Alright, do we extend the dude's attack? Let's attack before we do anything. Attack Alien Mars. Don't it have something? Planet, pollute, and virus, choose an alien, destroy all monsters without a counter. Your opponent controls. Um, that's obnoxious, we can't do anything about it. And everything we summon from here on out gets an A counter. Effect of the Leicester gets an A counter. Search indication. Activate indication. We will definitely grab another Mechaba. And a punch gets it up. Okay. Probably didn't have a realistic out from the Mechaba, but we still have to think if we want to use the uh, Leicester on field or the one that's already engraved. Probably the one that's already engraved, but then we're not blinking the one away, so it becomes something on the field we have to deal with. Alright. So, aliens are definitely a underpowered deck, so I feel somewhat bad for our opponent there. Really wanted to see that how that uh, Ad Emancipated Duel would have turned out. Uh, 
component has a phone, we'll look for the phone number to the name. I don't know why everyone always takes so long to click the checkbox. Maybe they're picking that up. But we will see. All right, we get to go first this time. And our hand seems okay. It's not exciting. We've had a lot of disruption. Normal Elyster. Effective Elyster. Grab Invitation. Link Ladder into Almiraz. And Secure Gardener. Got to do our one card Mecha Book. Activate the Invitation. Banish, banish, Mechaba. Effective Invitation. Grab back a Leicester. Yeah, uh, going up a card to get a one. So one card, you go up a card and get a Mechaba. Like, that's, that's pretty good. Set Elixir, set Conquistador, set Infirm. Actually, we probably didn't need to set this spell. We don't have one in the grave this summon. That was probably just losing ourselves. More vulnerable to even leaf and the privilege of your phone. I think that way it definitely shouldn't have a uh, second spell. Tomb table, so our opponent is probably playing uh, some kind of unfair, unfun deck. Grab blue eyes tomb dragon. One day of peace. Um, let me find out if you that's fine. Ooh, we get Elbridge, that's when our opponent ends. Huh. Well, I'll activate the Elbexer now, so you see if I can go. That one day of peace is actually really good, because they only use one team table. Do they have two more team tables in hand? Hand destruction. Yeah, that's fine. Put the Elbex in grave, resolve Elbex or something in grave. Oh, it pitches under team table. So let's look there in the Zodia deck. This is annoying. I don't know how well we uh, fare against the Zodia deck, but right now it doesn't look like the hand is actually doing all that much. Okay, the Elbixer. Yeah, that's a counter trap. I just want as many negates as possible, I think. I put it meltdown. Add an elicer. This is a white monster because they discard the blue eyes. They did discard the blue eyes, so we'll use that and our life to get a second back of us. Grab invitation. Activate invitation. Mechaba and blue eyes to dragon and a light to engrave. From a mechaba. Effective invitation. When you pair from your hands, you can make it a spell. You can boost the door so you can make it trap. And boost the door set and turn set. And Golden Land Forever is that. We're under one day of peace, so no reason to attack. Opponent draws a card. 29 cards left in the deck. So they did not have the inspiring thing on. Molten Conduction Field, sure. Oh, did our opponent not play any Xavier? Volcano Handbin activates. Dumps another handmaid. Magma Cannoneer. So our opponent has the Kindle and he's definitely happy to do that. Normal summon the handmaid. Special summon his boost. War. Okay. Now I'm curious about our opponent's deck. I thought this was a Zodiac deck, but I'm not sure now. So if someone's Formula. We will uh, go ahead and negate formula. 
This puts our opponent down to three cards in hand. Gets a monster off the field, and they don't get to draw card. After it's pot of avarice. Well, we do have Ash, so our opponent's going to be uh, pretty disappointed. Activate Ash Blossom. Negate Pot of Avarice. And opponent scoops it up. Okay, that was that was interesting. I'm kind of afraid to see what our opponent can do with the field hand. We'll bring in Dark Eater no more, since it gives us some kind of uh, quasar deck. Bring in Ash. We didn't summon that much. I don't know if we oh, kill. Oh, opponent's troops left. Okay. So this is one of the problems that I keep referring back to with uh Chief YGO Pro Service not having a rank ladder anymore. Is without a rank, there's no incentive for people to play out an entire match. Which is uh somewhat frustrating if you're trying to actually test the deck. Dueling Book has been having some uh pretty bad connectivity issues. The past couple times we've tried to stream on that. So I think I have to keep using this at least until the link book server becomes more reliable. But people conceding right away is frustrating. Let's go. All right. Bring it on. You get to go first again. Normal summon a Lyster. Uh, that's the Lyster. Grab Invitation. Special summon all Mirage. Secure Dragon. Invitation. Banner, special method arc. Activate Chris Elmand. Elmand, search up. On Eastador. Activate Elixir of Black Awakening. Grab one from the deck. Invitation, grab back a Leicester. We set kind of boost or do we try to play on the evening now? We, we definitely just set it. Um, something else we want to do? Do up a spell negate, a monster negate. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Pass it there. Just thought I'd be playing around that night. I don't know if it's a lower of dark monster. Vanishes Amara, the Wicked Warden, so we're trying to play Layer of Darkness deck. An active Layer of Darkness. We're going to manage to chain Conquest the door, try to blow up the Layer of Darkness. Don't really want our opponent attributing any of our. Uh, Negates. And it banishes Malice, Lady of Lament. Activates another layer. We'll negate that with Mechaba. Hopefully, we're going to the third one. Activates Terraforming. Of course, they have a third one. But keeping Layer of Darkness off the field is probably the best way to fight against this deck. Activates Layer of Darkness. Tributing our stuff is pretty close to the only ways that these decks interact. Lilith, what are you tributing? Tributes our Mechaba. That's the situation we were trying to avoid earlier. Gonna grab some traps. Fortunately, 
Ballista Squad. Tribute a monster, target one card. So, since they can tribute dark monsters, our stuff is dark. This card will tribute one of our cards and then target one of our cards and destroy it, which is obnoxious. Almost better or worse than the Eradicator. Except another one. Eradicator is not super great against us because we don't have any spells attacked in hand. And the opponent gets a form of token. Well, it looks like they have something. They did get Eradicator. Tribute Elbert. Spell. Get to activate first Elbrand. Maybe. Oh, I don't know if I have a response for that. Activate Lilith. Tribute the token. Gonna grab some more traps. Fortunately, we have another Eldritch in hand, and he's that to get the. Not sure. We just got three Ballista Squad. Sure, you can have a Ballista Squad, but cards. Kind of bad without a. Without Lair, Dump Conquistador. Ooh, opponent has Darkest Diablos. Alright, activate Eldritch the Golden Lord. Target Lair. Here we got him. Activate Full Force Virus. So we destroy monsters, 1500. 1500 or less defense. Fortunately, Alistair has 1800. And the opponent speeds it up. Alright. We like to get to play some full matches this stream. This is, uh, this has been rough. Our alien player was a really good sport. We, we appreciate him. I hope he does end up checking out the channel when he sees this video, because I would like him to know that. While we're waiting on another opponent, I want to go ahead and remind everyone that if you're ever interested in seeing the deck that we're playing, on any given stream, you can click on the link that says today's deck down below the screen. If you click on that, you will get to a dueling book download link of the deck we're playing. Right, we get to go first. We open the soul, which is exciting. But we open the soul with the French Solution in hand. So we're going to go ahead, normal summon this. Hope we don't draw our, uh, Alice Jack normal summon them. Pitch two, or not ask that. Ooh, that was that was really strong. So we have an elixir and a country stone grave rail in hand. So activate Elvan. Got a penny. Search up another country store. Unfortunately we're not just playing Link Crebo, we're playing uh Almirage and Relinquished Anima. I don't know about this Anima. It hasn't come up at all in testing. So we'll go ahead and get this off the board. Summon Almirage. Activate Elbixir. Grab Counter Trap. So we already have the other two. Magician's Souls is a busted card. I've said that on so many streams we've played it, but it's really cool. Go to the end phase. Activate Conquistador. Grab another Elixir. Stop on our opponent's draw phase. Activate the Elixir. Try to turn on Conquistador and Hephaera. Right, resolves. Grab Elbitch, the Golden Lord. Have 
three interactions now, including our counter trap. Our counter trap is not at all the strongest. It doesn't really contribute to the plan. But oh, tribute Almirage to summon Humongous after its slumber. Well, we do have an axe for that. I'm just try to use Humongous to go on Hakuro before the counter trap to just get rid of it. Special summons Blue Sky. Well, that I might see actually. Yeah, that that's more than than we want our opponent getting. Activate Golden Land forever. Negate Blue Sky. If we survive this turn, we can grab back, get back the edge, and the opponent keeps it up. So this is immensely frustrating. We haven't had this issue on any of our uh, streams so far. What are some of the people today? Maybe the Eldritch deck is just like not fun to play against. I feel like most Yu-Gi-Oh decks aren't necessarily fun to play against though. Again, shout out our alien player. So right now after Half hour of gameplay, we have played one full match all the way through. Dragonborn. Alright, what do we got? Turn it one rock with the Oh, this hand is very strong. The Ten Souls and uh, Elbland and Knowledge all interact extremely well together. It's kind of awkward that we have two spells with the Knowledge, but. I feel like this one is about the best hand we can get without having Valkyrie Spirita. Got its Verdandre's Guidance. Searching Got its Herb Verdict. Activate Got its Herb Verdict. Activate Guidance. Chose Monster. We don't have many monsters. We need crap. So we add it to our hand. Activate Celestial Transformation. Grab another Spirita. Summon Hip Connection. Activate Final Light. Pay a thousand. Grab uh, back here. Okay. Golden summon topologic to spin. So I'm really tempted to just summon missiles here and banish the back row. I feel like that's not at all optimal, but I want to do it. We'll activate souls, dump, uh, apprentice illusion. Special Summon, Activate Cursed Elbrand, Pay 100, Search out, Search out Elbrand, Activate Elbrand, Get Scarlet Sanguine, Target Sustainer, Uh, effect of Scarlet Sanguine. Switch out Aquero. 
the app player up. Touch the souls, search Elbrand, and you want to get that knowledge. You want to use the effect of Elbrand. I already have a prayer. I think this one is hmm. um, Yes, this one is a Activate Meltdown. Search up a Lysky. Norm is on the Lysky. Grab Indication. Here is our opponent is uh, going to speak. You know, a little bit of set. Set country kind of store. Is it a bit? Not country kind of Special summon Elbert. Go for green. Special summon Omar. Special summon a life spare. Activate invitation. Mechaba going away for me. Vehicle from their grave. A life spare from ours. Use the effect of invoke your madness. Search the dead souls, grab an invitation. Effective invitation, put a life spear back in our hand. Activate invitation. We use the life spear in our hand and the fine thing our front spray. Sure, use. A life spear again, not for any good reason, but just to show the effects you can evolve. Enter battle. Alright, that was an extremely powerful turn. Our opponent's definitely not playing uh, the most competitive deck, but that highlights some of the power of this Eldritch deck. Alright, got game one. So our opponent sticks around, have to give him a shout out as well. Upgrading a second if I push that. Probably Ash. And go down a secret. Alright, we'll just try that. Our deck's already pretty strong going second. There's not a lot of exciting we want to do. It's usually very matchup dependent. Our hand is definitely not as explosive as it was last time, but it's not bad by any means. Normal summon Futa. Activate Goddess Urge. Activate Lustful Transformation. Special Summon Valkyrie Sexter. Grab Green Hilda. Dump our Counter Trap into the grave. It's not an Archlord Christia. That's a uh, that's definitely scary, especially for this hand. Summon Link Karibo. This is unaffected by spells, and it can use defense to keep the Valkyries from being destroyed by battle. Ooh, Cursed Eldman is fantastic draw. Activate Cursed Eldman. Search up. Uh, the Golden Lord. 
activate job old elixir target target there by Korea yeah. activate our elixir grab conquistador Affect our obit, send the obit on the grave. Yes, we would like to summon it. Affect the obit, dot empathy, aquero. Activate meltdown. And a life speed. Main summon effect. Not having gray, they have a light. They do have a light. Almirage. Because they have a light, I think I'm gonna stop on Almirage and keep my stuff from being able to destroy the card effect. Activate Invocation. Metal Brush. Use the Valkyrie and my Lysi. Effective indication. Grab that indication. Grab back the lyster. Go to battle. Attack. Marriage is still can't be used. Go to battle. Packaging. I'm not even sure about it this turn, so they didn't have to use that effect twice. Where they have Conquistador, this can't be targeted by Conquistador and just destroy it. Mm, yeah, throw it after. End phase, effect of Aquero. Set a bookster of Scarlet Sanguine and pass the turn. Right. If our opponent attacks all Mirage, it is tributed, activates the effect. What does this card actually do? Because this is the most boring thing. Excavate and then add spells and traps. Attack Mechabrush. It's fine. Damage count. A Lyster. Target Mechabrush. Opponent takes 200. Game hand is destroyed. Attack Almiraz. We will. Tribute all mirage, target Mechaba. And for active mischief of the time goddess, okay, it's next to turn. Doesn't seem to do anything with it. All right. Probably should have used Scarlet Sanguine on opponent's turn, but I just did not expect any time goddess. Um, activate souls. This is from Jordan Blue. It's a way to go for game here. And opponent scoops it up anyway. Okay. Well, Dragonborn, shout out to you. You're a great sport. I know uh, our deck is much much more powerful than yours but you played out the game and i do appreciate it we're in the competitive server too so i'm not sure what's necessarily going on tonight might be issues with the uh with the other server um 
Alright, so that's two matches that we played through in 45 minutes. Well, this hand is awful. Set in turn, set a Claro, set a Elixir. Mostly in the hope that they destroy one of these and we can get our engine rolling. If we can't do that, then I don't think we much going on. Rescue Rabbit. Interesting. Gladiator Beast Omble. Here's the battle. No, take, take our beats. Sure, there's some damage to the lot, but we're not dead. So there's a Gladiator Beast quick play spell that Fusion Summons we could tag out in the battle phase, but I think we want sex one. Ends and lets them die. What in the world? And opponents pooped up. Okay. Okay, that was straight up bizarre. I'm I don't know if there's no there's gotta be an Ixie monster or some gladiator beast fusion. Like you have to do something with your monster. I feel like that was a misclick and shame speed. So we're up to two full matches on 47 minutes. Um not not an exciting rate of success. Project Ignis is not not representing itself too well today. I'm wishing that our first uh, Adamant Ad Adamant player player had played for that. I, I wanted to see how that went. All right, we're going first. Active terraforming. Grab meltdown. Activate meltdown. Grab a lifesteal. Normal summon Elysis. Effective Elysis. Ash. Alright, so opponents using Ash. Correctly, you almost always want to Ash Elysis. Use Effect of Soul. Special Summon Souls. Activate Knowledge. Dump Elysis. That's what we wanted to see. Souls hit Aquero and Scarlet. Draw card. Uh, see who comes in the deck. We already used Knowledge. Use Scarlet Sanguine. Grab a Conquistador. And this opponent scooped to before we even saw what they were playing. Come on, people. Okay. If this keeps up, um, might just call us off. I want to get all of our full matches in, but this is this is becoming frustrating. Like we we want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. If you're on YGO Pro, you obviously want to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Like play play out your matches, please. Full matches have been against aliens and Valkyries. So if you're playing a deck that has Ash, you're probably playing a real deck. 
or at least stay somewhat competitively relevant decks. And we don't even play all competitively viable decks here, all right? This one's also just named player, so I hope, hope it's a different person than the one we just left. Activate Meltdown. This hand is uh, pretty far from exciting. Normal OIC. Search up Invitation. Two are one card thing. Summon Almiron. Summon Superior Gardener. Activate Invitation. Use All Ice here and Superior Gardener. Summon Mechaba. So, some interesting interaction to pay attention to. Most of the time, when you're playing a build a board type of deck, you want to summon your stuff in defense mode to play around Lightning Storm. We're summoning Mechaba in attack because we have a Lyster and can boost its attack and take our opponent's monster straight by battle. But there is definitely an argument for putting this in defense to get around Lightning Storm. 21 is also much lower than 25, especially in the current format with Salomon Great and Chagall's. Uh, opponents play 6 Samurai. Something too much. So overall, I think putting Mechaba in attack is better, but there is definitely an argument for moving it in defense. Special Summon Grand Master. We have very little interaction, but we can imperm a soul baby to give them to us. No, we'll just let them get rid of it. Dump Apprentice Illusion is not doing anything in this hand. Leave up Elbit's the Golden Lord to remove something. Opponent just passes. Okay. Another invocation is not exciting. Normal Elyster. Oh, right, we're only playing two invocations. We couldn't even do anything with that. Okay. I'll just go to battle. Opponent has Earth and Wind in their grave. We can summon Chalaga. However, and that should lock our opponent out of standing the board with six hands. Activate invitation to Caliga, banish the apprentice solution from our grave, and the Elyster from field. Special summon Caliga. Effective invitation, grab back Elyster. And pass the turn. So the opponent can only use one effect and only declare one attack. So with only one effect, Hopefully they can't spin board. A lot of six sand stuff is inherent summons, which means this card is not as uh, not as powerful as it could be, but it's still still pretty relevant. All right, opponent, what you got? I don't even think opponent's seen our elbow cards yet. Might be able to take it into in the siding. Opponent sets one in the same column as our impermanent. And afterwards, summons Shazari. Goes to battle. Use effect of allies here, target Caliga, boost its defense. Our opponent passes the turn. Ooh, Elbum is really good. Activate Elbum. Pay 800. Search, uh, probably Concrete Fedor. Go to battle. Uh, 
So each player can only attack with one monster during each battle phase. Hmm. Cannot get their attack except with body monsters. Okay, so maybe playing all by there was a mistake. So what now? We have Elysium. So we can use Elysium to banish the Horde. That doesn't, doesn't seem worth it. Use Elbow to the Golden Lord, dump the Country Story Search, send Kivari to Grave, go to End Phase. Okay, so we learned something today. If you have cursed a land on the board, you can't attack except for zombies. I actually have not had that come up yet. So you only have a spell in the grave, which isn't too exciting, but opponents are just doing nothing. We'll activate Time Crucible, activate Elblixer, summon out Elblix. Souls would be good if we didn't already have our friends there. Back to uh, Simon. Search a uh, golden land forever. Search the attack. And the battle. Attack for 25. And pass the turn. And the opponent's still doing nothing. We have plenty of the gates up. So they could just go to battle and try to attack again. Hit the 25. Alright, against six Sams, we want Dark Little More, Ash, and Nibiru. Uh, I'll leave an Infirm. Go down Secrets. Go down Power Trap. To Haquero. That one's not going to do anything for a second. Go down White Destiny. We can do any souls. Now we do probably have two souls. Probably only need one invitation. And I wish the building seem as exciting. Going second. So we don't know if they're playing the FTK or just trying to build a board, but we want to interact with them on their first turn a lot more than we care to uh try to stop them, try to fight through whatever they build. United and Shania. I should have activated United Birds. Special Summon Grandmaster. Activate Cursed Bamboo Sword. Summon the Solder. Activate Cursed Bamboo Sword. Solaria stretches out the Hideki. That's where we would have wanted the Infirm. And Broken Bamboo Sword. So this definitely looks like the FTK. Dumps four. Broken Fossil, Cursed Bamboo Sword, Phoenix Blade, and Minion. Grabs up Kazaru. Of Zaru and Cursed Bamboo Sword. Grabs the Golden Bamboo Sword. Grabs Shinai. Hmm. 
cos q which we added. Let me summon great general of the fixed summer. This part, I think he grabs gateway. Gateway is one of the most busted shards that ever existed. Activates gateway. Activates broken land resource. Activates golden land resource. I should have needed to do before they got to drop two. They didn't want to do it now. Defense mostly out of habit. These are pretty fun in fact. Activates two on the data. Activates Monster Reborn. Well, if they do that off the Golden Man Resort, then they're getting punished by this tech. If they didn't, then our opponents are friendly enough. And either scenario is valid. Garu grabs. Uh, red one, Mizuki. Mizuho. Special summons Kizan. So we definitely should have either Nibiru'd when they first activated the Bamboo Sword or waited in Nibiru'd later. I feel like we're most likely still dead here. Grabs back Grandmaster. Special summons Grandmaster. To be fair, we did ask for an opponent to play a full match, and sitting through the 6 sand XPK is one way to get to a full match. Activates Divine Sword. This Reborn is so, so good. Special Summons, sorry, you guys. So it is another card that uh, I'm not sure how it has escaped the ban list for so long. Like people were calling this card to be banned almost right after it came out. It's I suppose it's not necessarily overpowered on its own, but it only ever sees play in the most degenerate of combo decks. So when it activates another United, activates Saryuja's special summon. Summons out Hatsume. Activate Gateway. Switches out Kizan. Special summons Kizan. So it's really interesting that the interaction between Kizan and Gateway had Gateway banned for. I think like six years. And then they brought it back after Six Samurai got more support. Search the Kazan. Special summon Kazan. So, especially looking at our hand, normally I would speak here, but I want people to see. What the six samurai deck does if they're interested in that deck as well. Overlay Utopia. So, opponent going to Utopia doubles. Put it, which is Astro Force, summons S0 Utopia to heal. So, not a, not a literal FPK, but pretty close. Switch up Kuma. So for people who don't know, this S0 card says its Ixie Summon cannot be negated, and when it's Ixie Summon, the card in effect can't be activated. And it has a quick effect once per opponent's turn. You can detach an extra material, and then your opponent's cards in effect cannot be activated. So you activate this, and then your opponent can literally do nothing. I think we're just dead on board anyway, but this is still a very, very disgusting lock. 
I used to play this in a Pendulum deck after the Draco Pal deck got hit. There was very briefly, it was only for a few weeks that people thought it was good and it, it really wasn't good. But there was a Pendulum deck that played this card too. As both she ends out with Soyuja, you can take the field. So, something to bear in mind, now that we know that our opponent's not trying to FTK us, there's nothing stopping us from Nibiruing them at this point, and that would have been a much, much more effective use of this card. So that was definitely played incorrectly in many, many ways. Activates Gateway again. Switch out Kageki. They could use Kageki even if they wanted to, because they search one with the soul there. Gateway again. Switch out Kazan. And passes the turn. Okay, yeah, we're, we're skipping up. We literally cannot use any of our cards with this S0. So, GG opponent. We'll see you in game three. Okay, so we're going first this time, so we don't want to do. I uh, don't want Dark Lady no more. Put back our Enriched Pieces, put back our Secrets, put in Judgment, and Cyclones seem pretty good. Put in second, set out Imperin. Set out. Ah. So, no, no, it's bad. Yeah. We will go first. Yes, please. And is okay. Not not fantastic, but definitely activate Eldland. Grab. On Cuspidor. Activate Elixir. Summon Eldritch the Golden Lord. Set our Counter Trap. Set Eevorn. Set Visitor. And set Cyclone. So now, what we can do if our opponent tries to evenly us. We can use the counter trap, tribute Eldritch to negate it, grab it back with the monster reborn, and still have Time Creeps the door. So I'm going to go to Battle Phase. Activate the Evenly. Chain Golden Land forever. Opponent has a second one, that's kind of rough. They do not. Activate the Dojo. Activate Elixir. Alita Schaefer, hello. Normal summons Kazara. Activate some Dojo. Search up. I think I have one counter. Plus some Puma. It's first bamboo sword. Activate time to the door. Uh, I am doing very well. I'm uh, not having uh, terribly interesting matchups today, but this deck is very powerful. I've been quite impressed with it. When it passes, I kind of want to burn Cyclone on Cursed Bamboo Sword. I will duel you right after this match if you can wait that long. Just do anything. Get some to graveyard, they can search a Bamboo Sword. I don't think we care about that. Use Elixir. Grab Time Crucible. Uh, 
probably should wait and use these effects in Mantis 2 now that I think about it. Um, this is the deck I'm playing for this stream. So if you don't want to play against this deck, you can definitely wait until uh, later streams and play against a uh, less overwhelming deck if you uh, would prefer. Like, I will still duel you, but this, uh, I acknowledge this deck is pretty, uh, pretty oppressive. Yeah, switches to attack. I'll play against your deck, just don't expect me to win. Alright. If you're okay with it, for sure. The opponent does get Bamboo Sword. The reason we probably shouldn't have waited until Mentos 2 for these spells is if our opponent has an evenly that they want to use here, then that's going to be a problem because we lose a card that we wouldn't have had to lose. Are you on uh, Project Ignis? Opponent so gets out Kazaru, grabs Bamboo Sword. Get rid of Mantis 2, so opponent does not have even there. Activate Elixir, so we already have Conquistador, we'll grab Aquero this time. Uh, EDO Pro is the one I'm using now. My understanding was that they were stopping supporting the servers for YGO Pro. I don't know if that's the case, but that was what I thought was going on. Activate Elblit. We'll get rid of Kathara, just keep bodies off the board. So we have a DD Crow, a Spell Negate, and a Yeah, I think we're pretty okay with that. Not going to use Elblit and Grave. I don't want to give up any of these cards. End phase, use Aquero. Set Scarlet Sandwing. Well, I'm on uh, EDO Pro, so equips our monster with Conquistador. Full play. Golden Bamboo Sword. Chain Cyclone. Get rid of Broken Bamboo Sword. Does they draw? If you control Bamboo Sword. Oh, that's the activation of Primer. Okay. Misplays, misplays, misplays. Looks like we're getting even made again. Uh, go ahead and activate Claro. Get Fuma out of the grave. Yeah, get Fuma out of the grave. Don't need these, don't need these. Need that. This gets to my elbow, so we'll get rid of Elbit. Now we can summon an Elbit. Activate United. Summon Mizuho. United, draw a card. Set form. Passes. Well. See if we can come back from second even there. Summon Elbert. Ooh, so with a secret. Good. Uh, activate secrets. Grab knowledge. Activate Scarlet Sunday. Search uh, for our last time, please, Fedora. And the battle attack. Don't it take my hundred? Can we use full moon grave? Probably not. Pass the turn. So all we have is a pop. So our opponent's got to be running low on things they can do. I 
and opponent passes the turn. All right. We're getting some time to recover. Oh, Meltdown is very strong here. Activate Meltdown. Search up a Lyster. Normal Summon Lyster. Effect. Grab Invocation. Link off into Almirage. Our opponent has got anything in there that we can use. You know, it's funny, my strongest deck is Eldritch Invoke. Uh, Eldritch Invoke is a really strong deck. I think, personally, I like um, Ad Emancipator more. For the trio, we use Autolyster there, Nagua. Summon Purgatrio. Effective Invocation. Grab back a Lyster. Set the Knowledge that we're not doing from with. Effective Elbit. Send Knowledge. I want to learn Dragoon of Red Eyes. Dragoon of Red Eyes is one of the most powerful cards Konami has ever put out, and I'm not uh, not looking forward to it being in TCG. It's going to be a lot of fun to play with, but I'm not looking forward to playing against it. They did do us a solid into putting it in a tin instead of making it a secret rare, because now it will be like, what's Nibiru's, what, $10 at most, maybe? Versus something like uh, Lightning Storm that's like over a hundred dollars. Okay, so definitely played around the evenly badly, but we managed to come back. And this deck can come back from things, come back from a bad situation really well because all the cards get you more cards once you're in the grave. All right, Alita, I am hosting. Uh, make sure that your name on EDO Pro is the same or similar to your name um, on Twitch, just so I make sure it's you. Crusadio Lee, is that you? Um, Uh, rockets are a lot of fun. I had the matter. I never played much with the rockets. I uh, definitely. Oh, I did some videos with them last summer with the uh, Rocket Dragon Link. There's a very good deck profile from um, the YCS Vegas. I don't know if it was the first place or the second place team. But it was one of the most um, intelligent, well thought out deck profiles I've ever watched. If you're interested in that deck, opponent Ashes Magical Melt now. Having souls in hand is always really awkward. I don't know if I'm fairly good enough, but we'll just try to lose it this time. Set one. Uh, pass the thing. Not an inspiring start, but both of our spells and traps have great effects. So unless our opponent can kill us in this turn, we're probably okay. Drawing these two together always feels really bad, no matter what deck you're playing. Opponent has their own Elyster. Grab an Invocation. Activate Invocation. Sure. I 
ਝਾੜਤਾ is souls in the last video going to power that hmm. actually it's indication well we uh do not want doing that he's a quero but the quero banish their indication when it sets one and Goes to battle, passes, passes turn. Right, so we will try this again. Activate meltdown. Save the life here. Use our mixer. Grab, grab some creeps for Switch to attack, then attack with Elbit first, in case our opponent has another Alistair in hand. Don't want them destroying nothing by battle. Opponent takes 1500. Attack for 1000. Main phase 2. Normal summon Alistair. Attack for Alistair. Grab indication. Summon indication. Invoker of madness. We want to have engraved. Fucked up fire. Indication. And then our own Kalaga using their Kalaga are in the game. Cut the Velice here. Pitch the French Solution, something like that. Grab Invitation. Activate our own Invitation. Grab back the Leicester. I'm not going to go into. Don't think so. Cast again. End phase. Check out the Quero. Grab Sanguine. And pass the turn. Normal summon Spellwork Magician. Well, that's fine. This is not a card we're playing. We maybe should. I think we always want normal summon allies here. Grab Secret. Activate Secret. The opponent is locked into only one monster effect. Uh, so we use that on Spellwork of Prophecy. Knowledge. One is drawing a bunch of cards. Activates Meltdown. That one seems like a problem. Activate Conquistable. Special Summon. Effect. Destroy Meltdown. I'm almost wishing I was playing a bull. Alright, opponent's keep it up. Okay. I don't think we could have killed them because we had our Kalaga, but we were definitely very far ahead. Exciting, I think. Next to those. Hmm. It's 
spray it like that. Oh, that is also sliding. We love drawing this card so much. This one has a life here. Okay, this one is my hand is all kinds of bad. Like I said, you're going to win. I don't know. I don't know. You you took a fight there. I definitely had a had a really good top deck with the meltdown too. Want to activate certain location. Probably have a bitch in the hand, I guess. Oh, summons Trigger Trio going first. Don't, uh, I don't know about that play. Alita, are you playing the uh, Solomon Great All Mirage and Secure Garden? One that sets two. That's a thing. Oh, that would have been good a time ago. Huh. So, how do you deal with a trigger trio with this one? I guess this is what we gotta do. Bunch of summon, a bunch of solution. Activate the life sphere, pump up trigger trio. Well, we already weren't attacking over this, so I think that's fine. Activate the Conquistador. Just cure. With that Elbitch, that's fine. In attack mode. Hmm. Activate Spellbook of Knowledge. Draw two. Normally when you draw two cards, your hand gets better. I, I think that's what's supposed to happen. Um, set. Set. Go to the end phase. Check with a Quero. Grab. White Destiny. And pass the turn. This is a, not an inspiring showing by any means. Point set one. The link summons Invoker of Madness. Here. Activate Condition Souls. Opponent did not play the uh, draw apprentice illusion every game. Okay. Special summon souls. Effect of souls. Sends both back out of grave, infirm, and gold land forever. So We'll for sure ask that. Make some nightmare unicorn. I wonder if this deck should be playing uh, topologic Shadowbania for the mirror. Summon out a golden lord. Run it with the end phase. Activate Conquistador, that's fine. Is there anything else I can use from the grave? Not really. 
public uh, we will cycle that and upon speed up. Okay. So we're not anywhere close to killing them, but we definitely had control of the game. Alita, thank you very much for the map. I appreciate it a lot. If you play if you're playing uh All Mirage and uh Secure Gardener, you can normal summon your Alistair link away into Almirage and then summon Secure Gardener over top of that. And that gives you a light so you can summon uh Mechaba first turn instead of going into the Calia or the Party Trio. I don't know if that's a play you're interested in doing, but it's something to be aware of. I super need to learn the deck. It is uh it's not the most complicated deck, but there's definitely some interactions that you need to learn. I uh I recommend you keep playing with it. It's been fun tonight. We will summon souls. Do I want to give it this invocation? That that cannot be a good idea. I will get rid of it. See what we care about Alice or not. That's the prayer engrave. Activate knowledge. And get to meltdown. Activate meltdown. Grab a light speed. Normal light speed. So this is the play I was talking about. So you can special summon Almirage here, special summon Secure Gardener here, activate Invocation, summon Mechaba using the Secure Gardener and the Elystar Engrave, and you get to Mechaba that way. If you uh, want to see some of the plays that this deck can do going first, I put a video up on my YouTube channel. It's Trotter Yu-Gi-Oh, the same as my Twitch. Set homeland, set um, let's see. Pass the turn. End phase, Aquero, grab white testing. Get to Scarlet Sanguine. Resolves, Salmon Elbert. What you got, opponent? So here we have a monster in the gate with Mechaba, monster reborn. I think they grab our souls. Yeah, part of our souls. That's fine. Active Souls, Polymerization, and Return of the Dragon. Their opponent might be playing a Blue Eyes deck like what we played. We'll negate that, put them down to three cards. And we still have Gold Man Forever that can negate another card. Opponent sets one and passes. Well, we will use White Destiny. Grab back the elbow to discard it. Take the attack. Do we terraforming in hand to keep a spell in the Normal summon a Lyster. Back to the Lyster. Grab invocation. 
can summon trains. I don't know if you want to summon trains, but we could summon trains. I'm gonna go for there's a trio here that you can Yeah, we'll go for Pink Trio. Just to get piercing damage in to make sure we can go for game this turn. Back to the invitation. Grab back the rescue. Go to battle. Play attack. White Stone of Legend. Pump up for Gatria. Wonder if our opponent saves it with return. He saves it with return. Attack. Pump gets to trouble blue eyes. We were doing that last week. Attack for 25. So we had to pump it up there to make sure that this goes for game. And 25 for game. Alright, so it's not exactly an OTK, but definitely a powerful interaction from this deck. Pump my blue eyes, we'll bring an F, put on secrets, and try out. And the pump picks it up. Alright, cannot beat Elbich and Vote. Um, we're gonna have to try to play one more full match because we've had so few full matches this stream. But we'll be wrapping this up soon. Alright, so we're going second, but this hand is pretty powerful. Wanna activate zombie world? Well, we do play zombies, so that's fine. Solitaire. One of our opponents playing in a different kind of elbow deck. Solitaire, grab a Yuma Zombie. Yuma Zombie, send Gloom. Summon out Balderock. Summon Vampire Sucker. Mizuki, target Balderock. Balderock's gonna be annoying. Once we get Zombie World up to board, We'll be in better shape, but it can negate our Elbitch, which is obnoxious. Some of another vampire sucker. Passes the turn. And we drew a Prince Illusion Magician, which makes the souls dead. We really wanted to uh, use that souls to uh, bait out Balderock. I'm going to summon it in defense. So we will use Elbit, hit Conquistador, target Balderock. Once we chain Balderock, we don't know what effect they're using. Chain White Destiny. Summon back Elbit. Is going to get to draw a card. We banish a monster from the grave. Let's see, I banish a bit. Activate Twist Elbland. Play 800. Switch out. Con Creastador. Normal Summon Souls. Activate Souls. Up the Elbland, jump another Elbitch to the grave. Activate Secrets in the deck. Set Knowledge. 
uh, Spectre Velvet. We can't use Knowledge because Souls is a zombie. Special Summon Elbert. Good battle. Attack Vampire Sucker. Make it two. And face. Set the concrete to door. Set Scarlet Sanguine. Unfortunately, we still don't have a way to get Zombie World off the board. Summon back to all the rock. Summoned Solitaire. Opponent still doesn't have like a good way out our egg. Summons Zuma Zombie. Balrog is actually a really obnoxious way to play. I hadn't, hadn't fully appreciated that. It doesn't help that we weren't able to get to any of our Eldritch traps either, but this is this is annoying. Zoom Zombie pitches Falderot. Probably gonna dump Miss Vicky. One dumps Miss Vicky. Got opponent. Make off in the nightmare Cerberus. Uh, this isn't gonna work out how you want it to. Cerberus target El Bolch. That's fine. It can't be destroyed by card effects. Or if you're wing hunting the nightmare. Zuki. Summon back Balderock. So we have an attack, we're not going to be able to attack over it this turn. One sets one. Goes the battle, and attack over our souls. Attack over souls, we take 28. End phase, we will use Sanguine. Grab Eldritch from the deck. Check the Conquistador. Grab Black Awakening. Ooh, Meltdown is powerful. Then my phase is going to get back another ball drop. Uh, we'll show him send in here. Grab on please the door. Special summon ball drop. Use white, yeah, use white destiny. Grab Aquero. Aquero would have been a good one too, with the ball rocks out of the grave. Switch to attack. Go to battle. Attack. Attack.
So I don't want to start using any of our other effects yet until we get Zombie World off the board because I don't want all that elbow just to get banished. We can always get him back from the grave. But I think we have to get the Zombie World off the board before we bring him in. Activate Conquistador, then draw phase. Opponent has a chain to this, then we're, uh, then we're in trouble. They do not. Send me in defense. Destroy the zombie world. I think I can destroy two of them. This is our last one. Normal summon the zombie. So don't be weepy, that's fine. I'm too weak here. See if the target isn't weak here. Target's ball off. Activate an acquire. Special summon acquire. Use the effect. Banish ball off. Opponent goes to battle. Baldur up attacks over Eldritch. What you got, opponent? I know we're going to out Balderot next turn. So, I think Green is on me. Discard. Discard Gozu Key. Not sure what they can do with that, but and opponent passes the turn. Okay, so before we do anything, we're gonna try to get this baller off off the board. Summon Constellar Playati. Opponent in response to that. Okay. In turn, well, this is a quick effect, so pitch target. The opponent definitely should have waited until we used the tag there. That was that was not good. Uh, we can't do anything with this old look, so. Yes, we will summon a zombie. Summon a witch the golden lord. And opponent creature. Okay, so we were gonna have to summon the Mechaba there as well. Against zombies. Definitely want cyclones and probably lightning storms. Uh, we can in turn Mia Zombie, Ash on Glow up, Green Strong Tooth. And I think we lost connection. Okay, well that's that's a shame because it's the first connection I've had on the uh, EDOPO. I had pretty high hopes for it, but oh well. I don't know how that uh, how that match would have gone. I was pretty interested in that, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream there. This deck felt very powerful. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. I appreciate it. Shout out to Alita. I thank you for the duel. Shout out to Dragonborn and our other alien player who did not scoop. Really appreciate all of you, and I will see everyone on Wednesday. Thank you very much.